So. Oh, oopsies. Oops. Oops. Does anyone have some spooky Christmas stories to tell? One time there was Santa. No presents. There was a man called the Grinch, and he stole presents. Can you guys believe it? Go for it, Butch. There was a very obtuse man, much larger than any whale I've ever seen. Are you talking about me? He's like nothing I've ever seen before. You wouldn't believe. Is he writing a poem about me? About me being fat? He went to the grocery store. This one-of-a-kind man. You wouldn't believe what he did next. What? What'd he do? He ate all the chips and anything else he could find. And no one had food for Christmas that year. And his name was... Mr. Flim Flam. I got that in my heart! I'm not gonna take this. If he thinks I'm gonna take this... No! What? It was true. I am sorry. It's okay. It's just a sore subject. Please, come back inside. Okay. Just don't say it anymore. You do not say about our guests. That's... That's bullyism. No bully. Okay, I have a story. The story is called... The Night Marchers. <laughs> Many years ago, a tribe roamed the land. They would often practice rituals and sacrifices to their ancestors in desire to see them once again. I'm calling the police. The indigenous people all died before the new century could even start. Ha ha! But legend has it that their spirits still roamed the premises at night, searching for their departed ancestors. But once you encounter them, there is no turning back. All you could do is run or even hide. Because they kill with no hesitation. The outside forces who aren't any of their tribes people some say you can see their torches in a dark foggy night marching to the beat in their drums but nobody has seen one in decades plus it's just a story <laughs> but some of their night marchers kept their belongings on this land to protect it from new ownership if their objects are removed off this land then i guess it doesn't belong to the tribe anymore and they will protect their territory at all costs 